So now we're back in our IDE and uh, we're going to create our connection here between the Stripe source and the BigQuery destination that we just created. Let me go ahead and hit resource here. And now the one that we see at the very top is going to be Airbyte connection. That's the resource we're going to use right now in order to create our Airbyte connection. The name of this is going to be uh, Stripe underscore two underscore BigQuery. Now, it's important also to note that these names right here that we append after the type of resource we're using or the connection resource is only for internal use within this Terraform provider. The actual name that goes into Airbyte is going to be the name property here inside of the actual object. So keep that in mind. There's two differences between the names and how we're identifying the actual connectors here. So that's important to note here. And it'll make sense right here in this object we create for the connector. So the first one we're going to give it is a name. And the name is going to be what goes into Airbyte. So this is going to be Stripe to BigQuery. And now we're going to create our source ID. And the source ID needed for this is going to be the source ID for the actual source connector that we just created. And so we're going to point it to Airbyte underscore source underscore Stripe. And you can see that it's auto completing. So it's pointing now to underscore Stripe dot mice underscore source underscore Stripe. And we can see that that is the name of our connector here. Now we see that there's no source ID here, but it's actually created one on the back end. So what we can do is access it by doing the dot operator again. I'm going to say source underscore ID. Now we have our source ID. The next thing we're going to need is going to be our destination ID. And after we have our destination ID, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to say Airbyte underscore destination underscore BigQuery dot my destination underscore BigQuery, which we can see is identified by this reference name here from within Terraform. And now we hit the dot operator again, and we're going to say destination underscore ID. Again, it, it's very, very simple here. We've given the connector a name. We've pointed it to what source we want. We've pointed it to what destination we want. And from here, we can now create our connector. So let me go ahead and save that. Go back in here, Terraform apply. It's going to show us what we're going to do here. We're going to say yes to this. And it's going to create our connection. And we're going to go ahead and wait for it to connect and grab our destination to create that connector. And now we can see the apply has completed. If we go back into Airbyte Cloud and we go into connections, we can see Stripe to BigQuery has now successfully been created. And we can go ahead and see that we have our streams and everything is hooked up. So now we can go ahead and run a sync. If you're using the API and you're looking for only programmatic access, you can absolutely do that. Obviously, everything will be inside of the API documentation here of how to do that. Yeah, you can click here on this. You're simply going to provide it a uh, connection ID, which we can do right now. So if we go back to Airbyte Cloud here and we click on the URL that we find here, we have our connections. So obviously this is the workspaces, but this is the connector ID. So what I'm going to do is grab this. We're only going to need the text here and I'm going to go back into our documentation. So we're going to provide the connection ID and the job type, which is going to be a sync. And now you can see that we've provided it a curl command that we can now just use to call it. So let me go ahead and copy and paste this. Obviously, you're going to provide your bearer token here because you need an API key in order to make calls to the API. I can go back into my terminal, paste that whole command. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to take a second here. Go ahead and enter a couple times. Now you can see that it's actually running. We got a response back in the payload. If I go back into Airbyte Cloud and hit refresh, we now have programmatically started a sync within the platform itself. And now let me go ahead and go over to the job history. So we're going to let the sync run while the sync is running. We're going to wait, obviously. And then I can show you that we've actually moved data over from my Stripe developer account over into my BigQuery instance. All right. So now you can see that the sync succeeded. We have 11 records extracted and 11 records loaded. We see the job ID and the time elapsed for it. So now let's go ahead and look into our BigQuery instance here. So let me go ahead and go here. Uh, I'm going to go into BigQuery where I have it saved right here. Now, if we go into the Stripe, you can see that we have our tables here. One for charges, customers, invoices, refunds, and subscriptions. And that's pretty synonymous with what we saw. We see a schema here of what that's going to look like. And if I hit preview on customers, you can see that I have the list of customers coming from my developer Stripe account and getting imported into BigQuery. I should have charges here as well. So if I hit preview, we should see charge one charge there invoices. I don't think I have anything. I do have one invoice. And there you go. You can see that now we've created a successful connection, a successful sync into BigQuery, all using Terraform.